Hello. Just getting ready to uh, chat with my good friend Nadine Searle of Calmer Self. We're going to have a Love Me chit chat talking about uh, things that are coming up in the book as she's reading this. So she's just joined. I'll invite her in. And there we go. Should be just a second. It's been a while since I did a live. Hi, Nadine. <laughs> Hello, Trish. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, crazy busy, but all good. Um, I just was saying, it, I feel like it's been a while since I did a live. Probably the last time I did one was when we did our last chit chat. So, was it now? Oh, well, yeah. there you go. There you go. Well, you've been busy, haven't you? You've got new places that are selling your book and you've been promoting that, haven't you? So, lots of exciting yeah. things going on for you. Yes. New website, new branding. There's lots going on, isn't lots, there? Lots new. And uh, for you as well, I know you've been busy and doing a lot of new things. Um, so it's exciting to come together and have this chat and explore everything that you've been reading and um, how it's resonating with you. But also it ties into a lot of our own, like it ties into our healing, obviously, but also the work we help other people through and challenges and, um, you know, experiences in their lives that uh, help them evolve. So I'm so grateful yeah. that we're having this conversation today and, yeah me, me too and I, it's so right isn't it you know it is it reflects what's going on in our life this is what I find when I read your book and then something just pings out at me and I go oh that's exactly what's happening either now or I needed to be reminded mm -hmm. so that's why it's lovely and as I've said before I get the chance to talk to you about it which is wonderful but you're absolutely right it reflects with the people that we interact with as well doesn't it our own work that we are continually doing on ourselves, it reflects and with our clients doesn't it yeah. you know, it's, the way the universe just brings it all together is quite magical isn't it so it is, it is lovely it's, there's lots of lots of energies at play lots of interactions and and things coming in to help support us as we know we've been talking about that um mm. so <laughs> i'm just yeah it's it's so and it and i feel like you know the things that resonate with us in the moment it might be something that's going on currently or it might give us a moment of pause for self-reflection on something that has been a reoccurring pattern pattern in our lives or anything that we want to explore to grow and and to heal and evolve on our path so i think one well i know what we're going to talk about today is forgiveness and it was prompted by a part of the book that where it was it, it was yes yeah. it's no secret we've been telling everyone what we're going to be talking about I today know. Haven't we? No it's such today. a big topic so, yes. right now too yeah it is, it is. It's a big one and it's one that you picked and I know you picked it because there's certain things coming up for you and everything as well and mm -hmm. it's it's something I'm working on myself as well. So forgiveness, big one, I've got your book here. Yeah. So if you're okay, I'll, I'll read a little bit, shall I? And then it can sort of prompt us to talk. Is that okay if That's I do that? perfect. I love it, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to read the whole thing. What if the people that have got to the book, page 45, Dear First Wound, that's the bit I'm reading from. Mm -hmm. Now, your book, as we've said, is a lot of poetry as well as your writing. Now, this one, yeah. it isn't really a poem, is it? It's a letter, isn't it, that you wrote yes. to, your, to yourself? Have I got that right? And yeah. I would encourage everyone to read it. I'm not going to read the whole thing now. Um, I could read it another time at some point if people want to hear it all. But I just want to pick out a few bits that I thought were really poignant. Um, and actually just to get this conversation going about forgiveness, because mm -hmm. some people struggle with it. They don't want to forgive. They think it's a weakness. There's a problem with it sometimes. And the way that we're going to talk about it will actually hopefully shed a bit of light on that and give yeah. people almost that permission to step into a bit of forgiveness because it's something we do hold at bay, isn't it? So mm -hmm. hopefully that will help. Yeah. So, as I say, it's a letter, Dear First Wound. And one of the things that you're saying here, you're talking, you're talking about, if I've got this right, this is my understanding of it anyway, is 
that this is the first time you remember maybe being hurt, something that you remember that hurt you deeply yeah. and shaped how you then lived your life until you realised, till you got that awakening. Mm -hmm. So I think we've probably all got one of these if we care to recollect. Yes. Um, it's just hard to remember sometimes, isn't it? But one of the things that you've got here, and I think you're talking about um, your parents, maybe I'm not sure. And again, we don't blame with this, do we? We're just reflecting. So what I've got here is what you said was that I should have been a boy. Mm -hmm. What I heard was that I wasn't what you wanted. Now, that in itself really says a lot, doesn't it? Because what people are saying to us we don't always hear the way it was intended. And that is something that I think we just need to take a moment and really recognize that actually right. it happens so often, doesn't it? You know, yeah. that we we can say things to people, we can hear things from other people and the, the communication isn't quite right, is it? So, right. I mean, how, how do you feel? I mean, it must, I don't know how it is when I read things to you that you've written. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, you know, it's a part, first of all, I've worked on a lot of healing around that area. So just to, to speak to that, um, that, and I, and I share this because number one, at the time, like, you know, my earliest memory was probably five years old. And, and it's not that these things are said intentionally to cause harm. It's mm -hmm. something, but it was something that was repeated that I remembered. And at the time being five, I didn't have the cognitive ability to understand that maybe my behavior warranted, you know, something of uh, something harsh or to kind of rein me back in. And so there's a lot of these things that it could be something else that, you know, you, somebody said to you and you heard it repeatedly. And what ends up happening is we end up taking that on as a belief in ourself. And mm -hmm. for me, I didn't really understand what that was that I was hearing only the energy around it, that I wasn't what maybe my, my, my mother wanted me to be. And yeah. again, not to blame, it's just that is the process that I went through. And then so I, and I think people can relate to that, that we maybe heard something and then we start to realize ways that we are accepted in our life. And I think we've talked about this before too. We start to begin to subtly subconsciously become that person and it takes us outside of who we truly are. So yeah. again, there's that, the, the reason why I share that is because it's important to heal those parts of ourselves that have been hurt and to also uh, forgiveness is a big part of that. And forgiveness is a big part of self-love it's one of the most important parts. It's essential for loving ourselves is forgiving. And it's not just about forgiving the other person. There's a lot of that. And then there's also forgiving ourselves for allowing ourselves maybe to be um, hurt in that way. Cause then there's, there's all, it's multifaceted forgiveness and, and, and these wounds that we have and the importance of why we're talking about this is because we we don't realize we're doing it in the moment because we're operating maybe from an unhealed place we're operating from maybe that place mm -hmm. where we were parented in a way that we were yeah. you know shamed you or something so something to um in essence rein in some behavior control some sort of you know mechanism that way and mm -hmm. you know i could there's so much to say about it but it's really we're, we're talking about forgiveness and it's yeah. not to blame um it's to yeah. to heal really it it is really i mean what you just said is the next bit i was going to read and it's perfect i realize you were likely wounded too and operating from that place mm. so it's like, like you say as you get older and as you've worked on that a little bit you can realize that but you don't realize it in the moment do you and like you say if something is repeated to you i mean i could say and i probably have you know someone's behaving a certain way and i go oh you should be a boy you should have been a boy you know i wouldn't mm -hmm. be thinking that's hurtful but it is it, it's who's listening how many times it's said maybe and and how that affects you and then like you say you're trying to change because you're thinking well maybe i should be a boy i've got to change i've got to try and be different but it isn't if i was saying that to you it wouldn't be what i was meaning and so that is that understanding that forgiveness like you say it's multifaceted isn't it to actually think about that whole process so forgiveness in itself is 
is very layered, isn't it? So it's really it is interesting. Very layered. To yeah. And it, yeah, it, 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 yeah. to speak to that specifically too, it's not just, um, you know, whether or not I, I should have been a boy or it's more the energy around. I wasn't, I wasn't what I thought was wanted and yeah. um, to mm -hmm. be. So it's like then changing who I was in order to be loved and accepted and be mm -hmm. seen and heard. And I mean, I think that is also the reason why forgiveness is so important because, um, and you, you said it early when we first started that it's something that a lot of people are afraid to have to come into engagement with it with somebody and in, in forgiving e either whether you know it's apologizing for something um, not knowing how that is going to go on the receiving end and all of that but that's ultimately um, forgiveness is like a gift for ourselves because we're we're honoring um, that whether or not it's us that did the wounding or we're the one that was being hurt, um, we're honoring that, um, that the energy of that. So for example, if, if I hurt somebody and I um, apologize or ask for forgiveness, I am, I'm acknowledging my imperfection and my, my humanity yeah. and that, you know, I, 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 I see that there's, you know, I've hurt somebody and then it's, it's a form of like, respecting myself, respecting, um, it's a form of loving myself, but also honoring and, and, and validating that the other person, their experience was, was valid. And so while, mm. whether or not we see it, that we, you know, cause a lot of times we don't intend, most times we don't intend to cause harm. No, so it's no, hard to hear when we've hurt somebody, we immediately want to go into that protective mode and ego and defend mm. and like, as the person is telling you how you hurt them, you're literally planning your defense and, or, yes. you know, acknowledging that it didn't happen or, or just, you know, some kind of like writing it off and invalidating the person who was hurt, their feelings. So I think it's important. That's why I love that we're, we're talking about this because mm -hmm. yes, it's difficult to have those conversations, but that only brings us um, deeper into relationship with each other because we have, you know, mo we're moving through conflict instead of away from, from that discomfort, like we've talked about before. <laughs> yes, leaning into it, as you say yeah. all the time, leaning into it. I love that. You, you finish your letter, actually, with, like you were just saying, how, how rounded it is. And if I can just read that last little bit as well, it will help people understand. Sure. Where you say, we have all harmed others in one way or another, self-included, which is mm -hmm. what you just said, isn't it? We have the opportunity before us to reconcile and heal this together. In doing this, we can also heal the wounds of our ancestors mm -hmm. who couldn't or didn't know how to heal. Now, right. I'm getting chills just as I'm reading that. Yeah. Because the power of forgiveness is massive, isn't it? You know, when we can forgive, we are forgiving on a big scale, aren't we? It's not just us. It does have that far-reaching ability, doesn't it, to heal wounds of the past for ourselves, mm -hmm. but for other people too. And it is something I don't think, I never understood the power mm -hmm. of forgiveness. I've got to be honest, I didn't want to go there. And I found it really hard. I thought if you forgive, you're just letting people off. And right. I didn't realize how beneficial it would be for me to actually sit in forgiveness. I wouldn't go there, mm -hmm. but I have now and I practice it. And I still have moments when I go, oh, I'm not quite sure that's what I want. So sitting mm -hmm. with it is so important. And also like we do, both of us, you know, we help other people with it. Sometimes you do need that. I needed someone to talk me through it. I needed someone to sit with me in that. Yeah. And while I went through the process, and I know you do this for your clients all the time, and it's such wonderful work, isn't it, to be able to help someone who, who doesn't get it. Because I was one of those people, I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I still wouldn't if someone hadn't helped me through that. So it is that kind of, you know, forgiving others. Forgive, like you say, forgiving yourself is yes. you know, powerful, powerful, isn't it? So. It is. And it's so going back to what you said, uh, we think it's almost like a weakness that we're, we're giving in when we say, I forgive mm -hmm. you or I apologize, I'm sorry. But really, it's it, and it's counterintuitive. Really, it's um, it, it it does the opposite. First of all, you're 
like I said, you're honoring the other person's experience that you might not be able to fully feel and be in, but you can at least allow yourself to be in as much as possible. And then what that does is it sets, starts to set healthy boundaries within that relationship because you're opening up and um, like a portal for that, that deeper conversation, for transparency, for vulnerability, for all the things mm -hmm. that help us live um, deeper and richer and more connected to our soul because we all have that, yeah. the ability to be connected in that way. So it's so, um, it, while it seems counterintuitive, it's not, it's more empowering. It's not disempowering because you're, yeah. you're acknowledging that we're, we're human. And I think that's like one of the, the, the themes of my book is really coming back to that imperfection of our humanity and that it's okay because perfection is a myth. And it's something that we want to always be right. We always want to be perfect. We won't put ourselves out there unless it's perfectly, mm -hmm. you know, curated or whatever. And it's like, that's, that's uh, the essence of, of forgiveness and the act of forgiving is um, opening up that energy of deeper, more trusting, um, vulnerable relationship. And, and, you know, it can be if one person isn't, ready to receive or to forgive mm -hmm. you know it could go it could go sideways but that's the risk th that we take and we have to be willing to take in any kind of growth or healing um if we don't if we don't at least put ourselves out there it's not going to um you know we're not gonna we're gonna just stay stuck in it so to your point mm -hmm. a lot of times you know you need help with that and we both offer that yeah. people we work with you have your um, gentle questioning is one of the things I've experienced yes. myself and it's really yes. powerful mm -hmm. um, to, mm -hmm. to explore in, in a healing sense, something like forgiveness and how, you know, we'll get to the real root of it. And that's, that's the beauty of that. Um, the work that we, yes. we, we've, you know, taken our, our own experiences and are now helping other people uncover that mm -hmm. within themselves. I think that's the thing, isn't it? That we have felt it ourselves mm -hmm. and we will feel it again and again. Maybe you always say, don't you? These things come back until we've really learned it. And maybe we never finish learning. But you reminded me quite recently um, about just sort of really feeling that, that what, well, whatever you want to feel, but not being attached to the outcome. Um, I'm not quite sure, I'm not saying it in exactly the right words, but the whole idea of actually not worrying so much about what the other people say. So what I'm trying to say is if I want to forgive someone or if I want to actually ask for forgiveness, it's not for me to be thinking about what I'm going to get in return. And that right. for me personally is quite hard because I'm a little bit controlling. <laughs> um, but also I... You know, if I want to say sorry to someone, and I've got to be very, very honest, I'm really not good at saying sorry. I'm very, not very good at actually getting, you know, when people say sorry to me, I'm quite tough on that one. I go, really? You know, so again, I need to be in that right place to be asking for forgiveness or actually giving forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So I do need that process of sitting with it for a while and getting quite clear. And like you reminded me recently, you know, it's not the outcome that's important necessarily. You know, you can't, you said detach yourself, didn't you, from the outcome, I think, which is a lovely yeah. way to look at it. Just actually do what you need to do for you. Right. It's not about everyone else. And that's so valuable. And you reminded me at the perfect time recently that I needed to hear that. But it is, you know, when when I first learned about forgiveness, you know, this idea of actually asking someone else to forgive you. I thought, mm -hmm. oh, my God. Honestly, I did not imagine I could ever do that. And I was very caught up in the, well, what if they don't? What if, you know, what if they, like you said, what if they're defending themselves? What if they're actually doing, which is quite normal. Yeah. But to actually get comfortable with that, with the help of someone else just talking me through that mm -hmm. um, and, and holding that space for me to go, well, that is okay. You might not get the answer you want, but you're doing what you need to do. That's what it's all about, isn't it? It's about what you need. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, mm. speaking to what you said, it's really it's common for a lot of us to not want to um, go there and ask for forgiveness because we're, we're, we're concerned or worried about the outcome. If the other person's going to receive it in the way that we intended it to be, if it has, you know, a positive 
uh, favorable outcome for us. But like I said, we, yeah, it's detaching ourselves from that outcome, no matter what, that's where we're in our worth. That's where we're empowered mm -hmm. is, is being in that, um, that soul connected place versus the ego that wants to protect and wants to, you know, everything yes. to go the way that we want it to go and having that control. I mm -hmm. think, you know, you said you, you sometimes want that control. And I think that comes out yeah. in all of us because yeah. ego wants to control everything. And sometimes it's mm -hmm. like out of protection and, but it's not really protecting us. It's keeping us stuck. So, um, yes. and yes. that's where it's really brave and, and um, courageous to, take that step to say, Hey, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And, 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 and try to, you know, initiate that conversation with somebody because that is um, a place that's not driven by our ego needing to be right. And mm -hmm. maybe the person won't be ready to forgive, but we need to be okay with that. And that's what, that's where the empowerment comes in. And that's where we're really in our self-worth and we're really, um, you know, in a place of also forgiving ourselves at that point, it's a, it's a gift that we're giving ourselves by, by just honoring the process and, and allowing that other person to say, Hey, I see you, I hear you. I, I'm sorry. And, you know, let it go if whether or not they accept that or not. So mm, mm. that's yeah, no, I really you know, get really empowering. Yeah, it, it is, isn't it? Let me quickly ask you something as you're, you're such a you're much kinder than me. I've got to put it out there. Um, when I, as I say, I'm not very good at forgiving. I'm not very good at, the word sorry is not something that sits comfortably with me. Mm -hmm. So in the past, and I probably can still do it now, if someone apologises to me, mm -hmm. I'm quite tough. That probably is my ego protecting myself. I don't know. Um, but I actually, my, my initial reaction to someone saying sorry to me is, this is really awful, but I'll admit it, I'll say it out loud. You can't be sorry, otherwise you wouldn't have done it. That's my reaction a lot of the time because I feel, or I say, if you're, if you're really sorry, you won't do it again. That's tough, isn't it? You know, is that yeah. my ego protecting me? Is that my, that's my that sort is, of reaction? Yeah, yeah, that is. That's our conditioning too, to, mm -hmm. you know, we hear these, we hear other people say that, our parents or our grandparents, whatever, through the years. And we were like, yeah, if you were really sorry, you wouldn't have done it in the first place. But I know. a lot of times, like I said, it's unintentional or we might be, you know, feeling off. And that is why we're talking about healing and why it's so important. And people probably, you know, get tired of hearing that word, but we don't have to be operating from these wounded places all the time. We don't have to be so easily triggered. And so actually, you know, having the courage to, acknowledge that we've done something wrong or then uh, being on the receiving end acknowledging that okay i i can see because we can put ourselves in that position too of you know having to be the one to apologize so it's mm -hmm. really it's mm -hmm. really about letting down that dropping the ego and operating from our heart and our soul and yeah. understanding that we're you know we're really not here to hurt anyone and if, if they, you know, if that were the intention, the person probably wouldn't be apologizing in the first place. It's like, especially when we're That's in relationships right. with people that we're with them all the time, there's going to be those mm. moments where we're not our best selves. It's mm. just inevitable. Yeah. If we're in a long-term mm. relationship, whether it's a friendship or a romantic partnership or whatever, there's going to be times where our lower vibrational self is going to show up. And then, so we're going to have to come back together and say, Hey, you know, I'm sorry. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, and acknowledge that. And then also then to your point of, well, don't do it again. That's our, that's also our, our learning and wisdom to take and to not be so reactive, but to take pause when something is, um, is, is happening or we're being triggered because a lot of times our initial reaction isn't our true reaction. So that's probably yes. another yeah. whole other. That's episode. another topic, okay. isn't it? Another thing yeah. to talk about. But yeah. but it is no, that has helped me. It's answered me, and hopefully it will help other people listening because that is the honest truth of how I have mm -hmm. been with that word sorry a lot. You know, and I know when I was a nursery teacher, so many parents would say to their children, "Say sorry, say sorry," and I was going, "Don't make them say sorry. They don't mean it." Yeah, you know, and that's just, <laughs> because actually sometimes you know it is that oh, just say sorry and then do it again, which mm -hmm. I used to see quite often with little toddlers you know bless them but it is that kind of, and I think I've sort of held that with me quite a lot that yeah. actually there's definitely that attitude well if you're sorry prove it you know I'm quite tough right. in that way 
so it's it's interesting i mean i've softened obviously you know it can be nicer but with help of people like you <laughs> but i think you know you just spoke to the conditioning that we gr grow up in that is mm -hmm. like we're forced mm -hmm. to say sorry without really understanding exactly. what is behind that mm -hmm. and really instead mm -hmm. taking you know a, a few minutes to unpack what happened first yes. and then letting it come yes. from within so Yes, it's, yeah. that that really speaks to it. That's you know that's, that's and that's how that's a lot key, of us are it? operating. That's why it like I said, it's so important to come back to those core wounds that we have and begin to heal them. And that's mm -hmm. that's what we're we're doing for ourselves and helping other people. Yeah. So, so 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 right and that is yeah. that is the thing isn't it you know yeah. sitting with it going through those emotions and coming at it from a place of of authenticity isn't it you mm -hmm. know being real with it on both sides of the coin and that is you know you know quite well i i do a meditation quite often that comes at forgiveness from three directions and mm -hmm. i find it so powerful it's what i started one of the ways i started to learn forgiveness for myself um, and I did struggle with it to start with, but it's forgiving people that have hurt us, which mm -hmm. I think is the one that people recognize first of all, but also asking forgiveness from people that you've hurt, which right. I found tremendously difficult um, and forgiving yourself, which again, yes. you've talked about that quite a lot just in this little conversation, but it is those three directions. And when you look at the three of them, when you really can sit in that safe held place and, and really feel it, it's massively powerful and has massive change. You get a shift when you really sit with that. So, yeah. so it's quite a lovely way to do it. That's, I love that, that, that you, you know, you offer a meditation of that because that's really, you know, allowing the opportunity to sit with that energy. And I think, yeah, one of the first places we can start to uh, practice forgiveness is with ourselves and for mm -hmm. choices maybe we made that we, you know, that mm -hmm. we look back and mm -hmm. say, maybe I could have done things differently. And it's not about regret. It's about just letting go of, because a lot of times that forgiveness allows us to be unstuck. We're holding ourselves back with that. So yeah. It's yeah. a good, it's a good place to start. So where can people find you if they want to try out your meditation? Yes. Well, we are both on the KS Media Group app, aren't we? We're both yes. there, so you can find us both on there. Definitely, you can get in touch with us through that. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, my YouTube channel is a good place to look for me because there's lots of interviews on there. There's a lovely podcast interview with you on there, isn't there? Yes. And lots of other people and things that I put on there myself. So the Karma Self YouTube channel is a good place as well. But I do feel, you know, as I say, that, that three-directional meditation was what helped me. Um, and really made me understand that forgiveness is freeing. You know, it's, it it's for me. It's quite selfish in a way. It was for me. It wasn't about forgiving the other person. And I had never understood that before. Mm -hmm. So it is really crucial, isn't it? You know, when you hear about people that have murdered and things like that, and, and they're forgiven by, by, you know, the victim's relatives and things like that, I could never understand that. Mm -hmm. But to hold yourself like i'm saying not letting the sorry happen in whatever direction right is really weighs you down doesn't it so once you get your head around forgiveness it's so beneficial because it frees you up you almost let the pain go don't you when you can sit in that yes. forgiveness you're not holding on to that pain you're not storing mm. that emotion in your body you're it it really is freeing that's why it is so empowering because you're you're taking back your inner power and you're 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 not held back by the energies of the resistance mm. the resentment the anger all those emotions mm. that are wrapped up in um what we're, what we're yeah. forgiving so it is when yes. you when you offer that forgiveness to somebody else it is so so freeing and it liberating freeing, yeah. and yeah, empowering and you're in your worth and you're in your integrity all of it and it's it's so mm. beautiful that's why it's such a gift and why we're talking about this so because it's it's important to deepen our relationships. And, and I think we all want that deeper so. connection. Well, yeah, it's, it's crucial, isn't it? So, okay. so you are on Instagram, you're this is Trish Campbell, aren't you? Yes. And I think your new, improved, wonderful website is this is Trish Campbell as well, is it? Yes. Is that this where is people can find your website? Yep, this is Trishcampbell.com. Yeah. And yeah, like you said, on the KS Media Group app, 
And I have a YouTube channel too. It's also This Is Trish Campbell. So trying to uh, grow that and all my podcasts and all of our chit chats are mm-hmm. there and our podcast yes. together, everything. So um, thank you mm-hmm. for, for initiating this conversation. And I know we'll have lots it's, more to talk about as you continue talking, to yes. read Love Me. And if, if you're watching this, whenever you're watching this, like drop us a comment and let us know how this resonates with yes. you. And, um, Please and, do. and reach out to, to us if you, yeah. need, if you need help in, in yes. uh, unpacking some forgiveness within yourself. Exactly. If you're struggling, we know what that feels like. Don't yes. we? So, <laughs> talk to us. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Trish. It's so lovely to be able to ask you these questions and just dig a bit deeper. So yes. really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for, for, for being with me and for having these conversations. I just, I, I really love it. So deeply grateful. Okay. We'll talk soon. Much yes. Love. Speak to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye everybody. Bye. Thanks for listening. Comment below for us. <laughs>